Welcome back to another episode of Nessus, everyone, where today we're going to be fighting the Ancient Vulture. Now, the Ancient Vulture has a 33% chance to drop a Vulture's Talon, which is basically a spear, a Vulture's Burst, which is a bow that shoots really fast and has piercing arrows, and the Vulture's Staff, which is a Summoner's Staff, so you can summon Vulture pets to fight for you. And last but not least, we have the Vulture's Mask, which, yeah, no wiki page on that there, so we'll have to figure out what that does. Now let's go ahead, let's grab ourselves a quest, and let's head on over to the desert. So while we're here, we have to defeat a Sand Spear to get a Captured Spear, and then return that to the Elder, so that should be extremely easy. In fact, I already see one of the guys I have to get right over there. I can see his eyes. So let's go take care of him and get the thing we need. And there is a lot of guys here. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. And there it is. Captured Spear. So unlike the other bosses on the wiki, it says for most of them that you have to fight them underground. But for this guy here, it doesn't mention the desert cave. So when I break this thing here, that summons him in. I don't know if he's going to be up on the surface or if he's going to spawn in down here. I guess we're going to have to find that out. But before I summon him in, I'm going to go turn in this quest here. So I made the assumption that he's probably going to be up on the surface. So let's go ahead and break this thing here. And oh, no, he's going to be down below. OK, good to know. Good to know. All right, let's buff up before I forget. There we go. And let's get my guys out. I'm going to stick to mostly dodging. Oh, he's shooting feathers. He seems to be targeting and shooting feathers. I think I was just one shot. All right, so just check the footage. And I was indeed not one shot. I was just being an idiot. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Now I'm going to focus using this weapon because I do notice my slimes don't do... Yeah, my slimes don't do nearly as much damage as this thing. So I'm going to focus on using this rather than them. This does a ton more damage, that is for sure. Like, almost down the half already. That's pretty good. Oh, let's focus on the eggs. Okay, there we go. Is there any others? Yes, there was. And I gotta pay attention to the directions so he doesn't just charge me and I get stuck again. That has been killing me a lot. Oh, and I jumped right into him again. Good thing it's almost healing time. And I jumped into him again. And I got hit by one of his children, I think. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not even aiming at him. Okay, where am I at? Right there. Oh, almost got him. Almost got him. And we did it. All right, nice. What did we get? We immediately got the Vulture Staff. And we got a decent thing on it, too. So this guy is an upgrade for me. Yeah, not much of an upgrade. It does two extra damage. But you know what? Two is better than none. That is for sure. And I can, I suppose, go back and see if I can get a better thing on it from the wizard. All right, time to lose all my money. Oh, that was immediately awful. Even worse. I think that's literally what I had. I will take it. And that is a total of 30 summon damage right there. A whole four extra damage. I think I'm going to go ahead and fight the Ancient Vulture a few more times and try and get all the drops and stuff for him. Hopefully that won't take too long. All right, so I fought the Ancient Vulture a few more times there. And, well, I got everything from him. So, first off, obviously the summons here, as i shown before. We also got the Vulture's Talon here. Basically just your average spear here. Nice and fast good for stabbing things we also got the bow here which yeah shoots some arrows now no matter what arrow you use it'll be basically a piercing arrow kind of thing so basically it'll ignore some armor and all that and do a bit of extra damage and i also got this vulture mask which turns out it's just a cosmetic thing so if you want to look like this you can look like this. Don't I look beautiful? But yeah, not gonna lie, the ancient vulture boss fight was quite easy. A lot easier than the Swamp Guardian, that there is for sure. Though I do have one little bit of information for you. Basically, when you're fighting him, make sure you're not standing above him. Basically, when he starts firing his feathers at you, he'll fly like right through you and go above you to start shooting them at you. So make sure you're not above him just so he doesn't like plow right through you and deal a bunch of damage. And other than that, it's actually kind of easy. It just it takes a little bit of time to get used to his attacks because it is a little bit weird. It feels weird fighting him. But anyway, I went ahead and I turned in my quest and I got a pretty neat little item from the Elder. It's a recall flask. Basically, it'll teleport you to your spawn and it has infinite uses. So pretty much we don't need recall scrolls anymore. So that is pretty awesome. Let's give that a quick little try just like that. And well, the cooldown goes away pretty much after I teleported there. So... That's pretty awesome. But anyway, that right there is going to be it for today. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to boop that like button. But until next time, 
keep having fun everyone see ya <laughs>